Today we will be talking about amblyopia or lazy eye. I am Dr. Smita and I am the pediatric ophthalmology and strabismus consultant at Vision Eye Centers New Delhi. Lazy eye is a condition in which usually one eye and sometimes even both the eyes do not develop proper vision. There are many reasons as to why it occurs. If a child has squint in one eye, then the image processed by the brain will be different. To avoid this confusion, the child's brain may ignore the image from the eye that is not focused straight ahead. Therefore, the vision in the eye looking straight develops well, while the vision does not develop in the eye that is deviated. The second reason is if a child has different glass prescriptions in the two eyes. A child may be nearsighted, farsighted, or may have astigmatism that is a cylindrical number. So if the number is high in one eye, then the eye with the lesser number will continue to see well and the one with the higher number will be turned off and the vision will not develop properly in that eye. This condition is known as an isometropic amblyopia. This is usually not easily diagnosed because the child continues to see well with one eye and never gets to know that the other eye is not functioning well until the child gets an eye checkup with an ophthalmologist. In some cases, the power of the glasses may be high in both the eyes and vision may be less in both the eyes. This condition is known as ametropic amblyopia. The third cause is the cloudiness in the normally clear parts of the eye. Some children are born with a cataract where the eye's normally clear lens is cloudy or they may have a cloudy cornea. This can keep the vision from developing properly in that eye. There is another condition called ptosis or droopy eyelid which can block the vision in a child's developing eye and lead to amblyopia. All these conditions are thought to affect the eye in the critical period of vision development that is up to 8 years of age. Any insult to the eye beyond this age does not lead to development of lazy eye. The diagnosis of amblyopia is made after consultation with an eye specialist. To check a baby's or young child's vision, the eye specialist may cover one eye of the child and watch how he will react or whether he will follow a moving object. The doctor may also watch how the child reacts when one eye is covered. If one eye has amblyopia and the good eye is covered, the child may try to look above or below the patch, try to pull it off or even start crying. In older children and adults, ophthalmologists diagnose amblyopia by checking to see if vision differs between the two eyes by making them read the standard vision darts. A complete medical eye examination is performed to look for other eye problems that could be affecting vision. The treatment of amblyopia usually involves making the child use the weaker eye. This is often done by putting a patch over the child's stronger eye. In some cases, eye drops can also be used to blur the vision in the stronger eye. Or the child may even wear eye glasses with a lens that blurs vision in that eye. But the commonly used technique is that of an eye patch. Once the patch is applied, the child is asked to read, write, watch television or play games. This helps in stimulating the eye to see well. It generally takes several weeks to months and sometimes even years to strengthen the vision in the weaker eye. Once the child has better vision in that eye, they may need to wear the patch part-time for a few months and then it is weaned off. The purpose of the eye patch is that it should be comfortable, but it should also stay firmly attached to the eye. The child should not be able to peek around the edges. If a child has a glass prescription, then glasses have to be worn above the eye patch. Most pharmacies have a variety of sizes and types of eye patches, and even decorated fun patches are now available online. It is better not to use the black eye patches with elastic bands or ties because these are too easy for the child to remove and peek around. To wear the patch, it should be simply attached to the skin around the child's eyes and removed once the scheduled time for the patching is over. Recently, many forms of vision therapies have been introduced that help to improve vision in children who do not comply with patching or in whom vision is not improving even with patching. These therapies are in the form of computer games or virtual reality devices in which the lazy eye is stimulated using a high contrast image as compared to the better seeing eye. It was once thought that vision may not improve after the child attains the age of 7 to 8 years as the brain loses its plasticity after that age. However, some therapies 
have shown improvement even in adults over 18 years of age. These work on the principle of perceptual learning, where the brain is trained to process visual information by performing repetitive tasks. At Vision Eye Centers, we have the latest treatments available for amblyopia treatment for children as well as for adults.